All right, guys, I'm super excited today because we got our hands on the most excellent Bill and Ted excellent adventure toys. Oh yeah, Bill and Ted, oh, I love time travel. Oh, this is gonna be a fun episode. <laughs> you said it, Simon Steve. So let's open up these most excellent toys and get this unboxing started. Yay! All right, so we just got done watching the Bill and Ted's new movie. I was like, oh man, these guys should be action figures. And bam, bam, oh, they did just that. Look at that, we got Bill and Ted action figures by the cool company called Incendium. So you can buy them there or wherever they sell these toys at. But boy, these are awesome. Look at this, we got a figure of Bill, we got a figure of Ted, and I love the packaging because it looks like they're all in their 1980s retro style. And look at this, oh man, we also get the phone booth place at the end with them. Oh, that is so cool. So we can do some time traveling. And as you guys know, we just love watching shows with time travel storylines. Right there, Zombie Steve? <laughs> yeah, oh, this is gonna be awesome. Wait, 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 wait a minute, who are you? Oh, hey, current Puppy Steve. I'm Puppy Steve from 2016. Wait, what? My voice was never that high. Oh, yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, let's get to unboxing. Hey, wait a minute, that's my line. Uh. All right, well, anyway, let's check out this awesome figure of Bill first. And like I said, I just love this packaging. Oh, I hate to even open this up because the packaging is so reminiscent of 1980s. Cool, I think they did that on purpose because look at this. It says Fig Biz. It's supposed to be Toy Wiz. Oh, that's cool. So let's go ahead and open this up because I want to play with these guys and put them in the time machine. So, all right, here we have the gnarly figure of Bill S. Preston. <laughs> look at that. All the way around, he looks great. Especially the sculpt of that face. Wow, looks perfect. Ha, yeah, looks just like him. And of course, the best part is that he comes with accessories. Oh, nice. So you can put the guitar over his head there so he can jam out like a musician should. Ah, oh, perfect. And he also comes with one of those 1980s camcorders because he was recording a music video in that uh, first installment. But yeah, there's good old Bill. He looks perfect, gotta love that. Unfortunately, the prong on the stand was a little bit too big for his feet, so I had to use another stand to stand him up. But that's all right, because he looks darn cool. Now we just need a figure of Ted Theodore Logan to put with him. Ah, oh, cool, so let's open up this figure out of here. Hey, what's in the package? Oh, just look at that awesome counterpart. Wow, that looks just like Keanu Reeves. Oh, that is perfect. Oh, the hair is great. I love how they have the shirt done around his waist there. Ah, oh, cool, just like in the movie there. And oh, look at, he's even got that Nick Tineen's band on there. Oh, I wonder who that is. Is that Dran Dran, Dran and Dran? <laughs> oh, I love it. But uh, yeah, down here is to save the humans with smiling faces. Boy, they got everything all movie accurate with this cool figure right down with to his accessories. Oh, cool, so let's get his guitar over his head there so he can rock out to God Gave Rock and Roll to us. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, I love it. He comes with a cool boom box, which uh, actually plays music. <laughs> All right, not really, but uh, that's fun. But yeah, it looks just like a boom box from the 1980s. Oh, that's cool enough to make uh, Soundwave happy. Oh, yes, I am super happy. This pleases me. All right, boom box guy, totally cool. And what's bringing these guys together? Boom, bam, we've got our Wild Stallions band ready to rock out. <laughs> Oh, that is so cool. Yes, this is awesome. So cool. Now, of course, it's time to break out that really awesome playset, which contains the Fun Cliff Time Machine. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Yeah, I know, this is gonna be so awesome. Oh, for crying out loud, get out of here. <laughs> uh. Okay, so here's the phone booth for Bill and Ted, and I think this is the first time I've actually seen the phone booth be made into a, a toy. So this is a really awesome thing to have. Well, already I could say this thing looks great. From the bottom all the way to the top. <laughs> oh, this looks just like the fun with from the movie. Oh, I love it. It's got those little time do McDo hands on the top. And let's see, as for the door, what if it opens the same way as in the movie? Ugh. Oh, cool, look at that. Oh, it does. Oh, I love it. And then inside is the super cool phone to call the cool people throughout time. Oh, that's so neat. So yeah, here we have the cool phone booth with the really awesome Bill and Ted figures. <laughs> oh, this is so awesome. What if we could fit these guys in there? And, oh yeah, cool, they fit. <laughs> they close the door and down they go. And of course, where they turn up, boom, nobody knows. Hey Bill, where are we? I don't know, Ted. 
Uh, hello dudes, anybody out there? Where, 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 howdy boys. Welcome to my very first Kentucky Fried Chicken. This is my very first delicatessen, <laughs> and we do chicken right. Can I offer you guys in some fried chicken? Cool dude, give us your chicken. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Oh man, it worked out, Colonel Sanders. Yeah, they're on their way and meeting cool celebrities. All right guys, so there's the really awesome figures of Bill, Ted, and that awesome phone booth. If we look at the back of these packages here, well, it doesn't say they're gonna come out with any other figures, even though there is a picture of Rufus right there. And man, I really love a figure of Rufus. But if you look at the Toymaker's website, well, it does say that the figure of Death is coming out in a couple months. Aw, oh, yeah, and I need a figure of that guy to complete my set. Unfortunately, there's no mention of Rufus, but we did manage to get a figure of Rufus by, oh, NECA Toys. Unfortunately, it's about two times as big as <laughs> the other guys there, but oh, let's just open them up. So here we have the cool figure of Rufus, and boy, does he look detailed. That face sculpt looks dead on. Wow, I don't think you could get any closer. But yeah, they made this figure big enough where they gave him actual clothes. <laughs> look, he's got like 10 layers on, I love it. So yeah, there's good old Rufus. And boy, is he a tall one. He's about maybe four inches taller than the figures presented here by Insidium. But just check out his accessories. Oh, cool, look at that. We get a Circus of Time book and the phone book for the phone booth. Oh, I think we're gonna need that for our phone booth. So let's see, let's throw that in our time booth there. <laughs> there's no shelf to put it on, so there you go. And then, oh, we get the cool Rufus glasses. So we can turn Rufus into, oh, that cool Rufus <laughs> from the movie. Boy, he looks great. And last but not least, oh, well, we get a Wild Stallions record, which is another cool accessory. We can just put in Ted's hand there. <laughs> now that is puppetastic. So yep, looks like we made use of all the accessories. And if that wasn't cool enough, well, Mecca also sent us this figure right here. Ooh, neat, oversized Ted. And wow, talk about a cool figure. So here we have Ted in the NECA line. And they, he's big enough that they give him regular clothes as well. He's got the red shirt over top of his, his black shirt there. Ah, cool, so you can like, <laughs> I wonder if you can tie around his waist like this guy right here, because that's how he appears later in the movie. Cool, look at that, two Ted's. But uh, yeah, you know what's interesting about the face is I think the action figure captured his face better than the oversized figure. Huh. So it's kind of neat that you can take his shirt off and pose him in any different way. But yeah, there he is, a cool Ted standing next to the awesome Rufus. Now we just need Bill to complete our collection. All right, now we're gonna check out the cartoon versions of Bill and Ted. Oh man, these look pretty cool. These are Wild Stallions by NECA Toys. And out of the package, holy cow, these guys look great. <laughs> oh man, now they had a cartoon during the 90s and these guys look just like it. Oh, it's got the crazy hair and the vest and the cool pants. And then as for Bill here, oh, look at that pose. It's got the same face. Yeah, it just looks like Bill. Wow, in a cartoon version. And check this out. Oh man, we get some really cool faces. I say, well, Stallions on it? Fantastic. As well as some guitars for accessories. So put all this stuff together. And ba bam Wow, we've got our Wild Stallions complete with their guitars. Boy, what a great looking duo made by NECA Toys. And all we need is a phone booth to put in the background. <laughs> and our set is complete. Wild Stallions! All right, guys, so there is the really awesome figures of Bill and Ted along with their phone booth playset available on Insidium.com. And there's also figures by NECA as well. So make sure you get all those if you're one hardcore fan of Bill and Ted. Party on, dudes!